Something you guys may or may not know about me is I love editing photos. It's something so fun to me to bring out the beauty of a photo and really just put my own style and aesthetic to it. So today when I was brainstorming this video, I was like, okay, let's do something kind of fun, different, let's mix things up, and let's do something involving you guys. So today, we are editing your photos. you guys on here as well as on Instagram to send in photos for this video and you guys delivered. You guys came through with the photos and I kind of did like a little scroll through and I'm just, I cannot even tell you how excited I am about this video. Just seeing all of your beautiful faces and your cute photos. This is gonna be such a fun time. So thank you guys so much to anybody who sent in photos. And this video is actually inspired by Peter McKinnon, who is one of the film and photography kings here on YouTube. He did a video like this last year, I loved it. And I thought, hey, I should do my own. So today, that's what we're doing. And little fun fact about Peter is, I was on a panel with him last year, as well as Nico and Sam from Corridor Digital. That's my little flex for the day. It was very cool and they're, very neat people to be around. So yeah, that is today's video. Hi, I'm Jess. I've got my truly as my drink of choice for editing today and uh, let's hop into Lightroom. So right here we have Beth. Beth, you are looking beautiful with a gorgeous background. Nature shots are one of my favorites to edit because there's just so much you can do with the colors of mountain, sky, water, everything. So this photo kind of has it all. As I mentioned in the intro, I have my own kind of style and aesthetic that I use for photos. So this is kind of what my style and look goes for photos. It's very warm, it's very pinky, kind of like a romantic tone to it. So the way I've streamlined my editing process is I have my presets and this is only a partial plug if you guys wanna check them out. They are linked below, but usually when it comes to editing photos, I always start off with one of my presets. So these ones here at the top, okay, that one already looks cute. So this one is caramel. So I'll kind of just scroll over my presets and see which one I like the best that works with the photo. Each of these presets has a slightly different look to it, doing different things with the colors and the warmth and the tones and everything, but they all give the general same kind of vibe. So if you put them onto an Instagram feed, no matter like what the picture, they all kind of give it a cohesive look. So the one I think I'm gonna go with is Sugar and Spice. So presets are not always a like one click edit. Oftentimes you kind of have to tweak them a little bit to work for you, your skin tone, the lighting, the background, the whatever. So I'm gonna start making tweaks here. So the first thing that I notice is that this preset made her skin a little orange. So that's the thing with presets is everybody's skin tone is different. No preset works for every skin tone, every lighting condition. So you just have to learn how to kind of use them and work with them. So oftentimes when I'm editing, I kind of toggle back and forth to see what it was before and what it is after to make sure things are like accurate, working, looking good. So I notice that her skin tone doesn't have as much of like a pink undertone. It's more of just a kind of neutral undertone. So I'm gonna bring the pinks up in the color mixer of the orange back a little bit more towards the center. And I think that's a lot more accurate. Now, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take those trees and I'm going to make them pop. So the trees in the background, I'm gonna go into the green little color mixer bubble and just pull the greens over from the yellow side, more over towards the kind of bluish green side. Bring up the saturation and bring down the luminance a little bit. And I'm also going to go into the yellows because I'm assuming that the trees probably have a hint of yellow and just bring that up a tad. Do you see that water in the background? It looks so beautiful and serene and gorgeous. So I'm just gonna bring the saturation of that up just a tad. And then I'm gonna go into the lighter blue, the more kind of aqua blue and bring that up as well. Cause yeah, see, this is less saturated, more saturated. So you can really see that this color slider really affects that. So I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit. Then I'm going to bring the hue slider a little bit to the right, making the water more kind of blue, a rich blue versus a green blue. So pull up the exposure just a little bit. Final, final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this little crop section and right at the top where it says straighten, I'm going to hit auto. And that is just gonna straighten out the photo to make sure your horizons are level versus being 
kind of a little wonky. Here's the final edit of the photo. I think it looks so, so cute. Beth looks beautiful. The background looks gorgeous. The colors are so pretty and it's got that pinky warm romantic look that i really love and just something i want to share is you guys probably won't agree with every edit i make i think it looks beautiful it works for like my style this is kind of my spin on things we are going to hop into this one and this gal's name is i'm going to go out on a limb and say it's anya it's a-n-j-a i don't think it's anja but it could be but i'm gonna i'm gonna go with anya so i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong but let me say about this photo girl you look stunning. I love your blazer, your blouse, your you know sleek hairstyle and your sunglasses. Cute pose, beautiful background. Let's scroll through. So as you guys can see the presets, the edit kind of makes the photo look a little wild sometimes, kind of intense with the edit, which can definitely be like a little bit like, oh, I don't like that. But it's all about kind of knowing how to adjust the preset to work for the photo, still taking advantage of the vibe that the preset gives. So for this, I'm gonna just settle on sugar and spice. First thing, I'm gonna brighten it up just a smidge, and I'm gonna bring that warmth down because it is too warm, it's too pink, it's looking a little bit saturated, so we're gonna bring down the saturation, bring up the luminance, shift the pink more towards the center to be more of a neutral. We're gonna go into the greens, and we are going to make that, I believe that's a yucca tree in the back, we're gonna make that pop, those flowers pop, make the greens a little bit more green. And then we're going to bring down the luminance and I'm gonna bring down the saturation. I wanna straighten this photo, that is looking really cute. Now the last thing I wanna hop into is the color mixer. And I just wanna check out the color red because I notice she got some red lipstick, her hair is a little bit red. I think I might just make it pop a little bit. By playing with that slider, this lady also has red hair in the background and she's kind of present and apparent. So I'm just gonna, desaturate her a little bit so we can draw some more attention to Miss Anya here. So sorry lady in the background, we're just gonna desaturate your hair. Take the clarity down on her so she's a little bit more blurry and in the background. So here's the final photo. I think it looks so beautiful. Let's take a look at the before and after. So here we have the before and here we have the after. I think it looks really cute. I think she looks so, so beautiful. I think the only thing that I would do maybe differently is if I wanted to do two edits of this, I would have this one where it's a little bit more warm and then I'd have a second version where it's a little bit cooler and I'd bring the exposure down for a more kind of very subtle type of look. So here's that and here. I seriously feel like I wanna cry looking through these photos because it's so neat getting to see your faces and I'm, I'm genuinely not kidding like I feel tears actually springing to my eyes which makes me feel so like lame and corny but I don't know just seeing all of your beautiful faces and seeing all the cool places you guys have been and go to and stuff I think it's just the coolest thing because I think sometimes when it comes to YouTube you see like numbers on a screen you're like oh this many people but seeing your actual faces and like putting faces to names and seeing who's a part of my community I think is the coolest thing ever so this is my thank you to you guys for being a part of my community. I think you guys are so cool and I appreciate you guys. Ooh, ooh, caramel, I like. Cherry, ooh, I think I like cherry. Ooh, I kind of like Saturn also. I think I'm gonna go with cherry. I think that looks super cute. So the first thing I noticed is that the oranges have made her a bit, yes, pink. So I'm gonna bring that up a little bit more towards the yellow side. I'm going to bring down the saturation a bit, bring up the luminance. I also notice that it's a little bit overexposed. So I'm going to bring down the exposure. Also gonna add in some contrast because I do notice that the there's a bit of haze to the photo. So bringing in just the slightest bit of contrast really makes her beautiful features stand out. Also going to go into dehaze and bring that up a little bit. I'm gonna bring up the sharpening tool as well. So here's what we got going on so far. I'm gonna also bring the reds down a little bit because I see her cheeks are very red, very like blushing, having a nice day. So I don't wanna make it look too red. So I'm gonna bring up the luminance and bring down the saturation. I think that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, Claire, this is, what a cute photo. Love your outfit. Your hair is beautiful, your face, gorgeous and this background is a cute background we're gonna straighten it out boom super subtle and there we are so let's take a look at this before and after before 
after. Okay, I think this one is beautiful because before it's like, it's a nice photo, it's cute, but look at how much we made it pop. We made the background truly what it was all meant to be. We brought out the potential in this photo. We made her face shine. And I think this one is so gosh darn gorgeous. Ooh, our next photo is from Brooke right here. Brooke, this photo is next level. It is so beautiful. First of all, photo is gorgeous. Second of all, your face, your hair, your outfit, on point, such a gorgeous photo. I'm not gonna put a preset on it. I think I'm just going to do some subtle edits. If I was posting this photo to my feed, what I would do to make it fit perfectly and be cohesive. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pinky it up a little bit. So I'm gonna bring up that tint. I'm going to bring up the warmth a smidge. I am going to pull the highlights down a little bit. So this brings out more of the detail in the background bring up the whites a little bit because most of the background is white. So I'm going to really make that pop. I'm also going to pull the exposure up just a little bit, add some contrast, going to head down into clarity. So clarity kind of, it makes things more clear. It's clarity. So I'm going to bring that up. I'm also going to dehaze it a little bit. I do notice that there is a little bit of uh, not sharpness. So I'm going to say that this was shot on an iPhone portrait mode just because portrait mode, it still gives you that look of a nicer camera with a blurred background. But sometimes the iPhone camera gets a little wonky and you get some odd blurred spots. So I'm just going to dehaze it a little bit to make that a little less apparent. Sharpen up that image a bit. Now I'm going to head into the split tones and I'm gonna bring the shadows just a little bit into the red. I'm gonna bring the highlights a little bit into the yellows. Bring back down the pinky tone. Yeah, that's a little orange. I'm gonna pull this back to yellow. Yeah, I think that's pretty perfect. I think you look beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. So here we have Miss Brooke in all her gorgeous winter glory here with the snowy background, her little beanie. I think this is so pretty. Wow. For our next photo, we have Gabrielle right here looking stunning. Oh my gosh, this photo, iconic. Right here at the Golden Gate Bridge, living her best life. The wind is flowing through her hair. She's got on a super cute outfit. And let's edit up this photo. Let's make it all that it can be. Let's see. Do we go for the vintage look? I think I think we might because the Golden Gate Bridge having some vintage vibes with it, I think I think would be a look. So first thing, I'm gonna warm the photo up a little bit just to give it more of those vintage vibes. I'm going to pull the blue slider over to be a little bit more teal looking. Bring down the saturation to make it more subtle. And what color is this water? I kind of can't tell. Okay, it's reading it as blue. Let's see. Okay, most of that is blue. Isn't that crazy what this can do? You can make it go from San Junipero, that kind of vibe, the whole 80s vaporwave. This is what that is giving me. This is the kind of vibes that's giving me. And then you can completely switch it over into this super teal. I like to go a little bit, a little bit more in the middle towards the teal side, but it's just so crazy what you can do with these sliders. You really can customize a photo and the colors to be whatever your creative eye wants them to be. You think the water might be, mm-hmm, it's a little green. So we're gonna bring up the green from yellow more to a, let's bring it more to this green side because oftentimes I find that with like the Bay water and most of California's water, it often is kind of muddy and murky looking. So I wanna make it look a little, a little prettier by bringing it towards that green side. Let's head to the yellows. So I'm thinking that this is reading as yellow and orange. Yeah, Oh. Ooh, okay, let's brighten up this photo entirely. So let's bring down the saturation. So if ever you have a wall that's just like kind of a yellow shade and it's really darkening up your photo, what you can do is you can just take that slider, boom, down to zero on the saturation and just completely brighten up your photo so much more. Sometimes a color like this, especially when it's that orangey looking yellow can really distract from a photo and pull focus away from you. So bringing that slider all the way down to zero, taking the saturation down entirely, and let's even bring up the luminance to brighten it up. Top notch, I like it. Now let's go into the reds and really make the Golden Gate Bridge shine. So I'm gonna go into that hue slider and I'm gonna pull it away from the pink and bring it more towards the orange side. So I'm gonna make it slightly more towards the orange side because fun fact, the Golden Gate Bridge is actually not like a true red. It's more of an orange red. It's like a burnt orange. I feel like there's even 
I think there's a name for the type of paint. And now because I think this photo would look gorgeous as if it were shot on film, I'm gonna introduce some grain into this image. So grain, I mean, it adds grain. It kind of gives it that vintage look. It truly pulls it through. This is the amount of grain you want. So you can have like a little bit or a lot of it. Ooh, I think that looks really cute. Last thing I'm gonna do is warm it up a little bit more to really give that uh, vintage retro kind of vibe. And of course, our final step is to straighten the image. So here we have our before and here we have our after. I. I really like this photo. I know I've said that about all of them, but I'm so happy with how these are turning out. It's so fun to edit someone else's photo and just have fun with the style. Oh, I still am not entirely sure about the water. It looks, I mean, that's just California water. <sighs> it's California. <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's perfect. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Gabrielle, you queen. The next photo we have here is from Lauren. She's with her man and her baby and they look so cute with all of these leaves. I'm imagining it's fall because I see all these leaves on the ground. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this video yet, but my favorite season to take and edit photos is fall. I love I love playing with the leaves. I love just bringing out all the beautiful colors that come out in fall and playing with it. So I am really excited about this one. This is gonna be extra fun. A lot of these presets I made during fall time, so they work especially well for fall themed photos because they bring all the yellows to orange to really make the background pop, look beautiful. Ooh, okay, sugar and spice, that's it. That's the tweet. This is what we're picking. So I'm gonna bring the exposure down. Oh my gosh. this. This already looks so pretty. Okay, I'm going to bring the black color slider down a little bit to make the black colors in this photo be more true to black. So this makes them a little bit more faded, which I quite like in photos. But in this one, I'm gonna say I want a sharp, crispy looking look. Contrast up a smidge. Oh my gosh. This is the this is the fall photo of my dreams. So gorgeous. They're so happy, living their best life in the fall. And oh, Lauren, you have a gorgeous family. I'm gonna hop into the color mixer because I wanna show you guys how crazy you can just influence the colors and have fun with it. Here we have the yellow color slider. So here is what it was before. Crazy, right? But you can make it look so fall, so warm and gorgeous. You can also make it, I mean, I don't know who's going around making the leaves neon green, but if you wanted to, you could. I like to go full send because I think I think it's so pretty. Gotta do our final step. We have to straighten the image. Just a smidge, just a little bit. Even out those horizons. And let's see our before and after. Before, after. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wow, you guys are so cute. If you ever want me to edit more of your fall photos, you guys hit me up, send them in. I definitely would love to do more editing my subscribers or your photos. Like, if you guys wanna see a part two to this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, commenting below because I'm having fun, but I don't know, let me know. What a sweet photo. Thank you so much for sending this in. We have our next photo. This is from Amelia. And this photo seriously looks like it belongs on Pinterest. Oh my gosh, all of the aesthetic. It's like, got that on the go type of vibe. Look at my outfit, but don't look too close. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, all of these are gonna look good. I often find when it comes to presets, especially like these ones that I've developed, when the background is really bright, these presets work extremely well. I kind of like Saturn on this. Before, after. See, like, this could be a one-click edit. This could just be one and done. You toss this on, you're good. I'm gonna go into the auto straightening, straighten it up, and that's it. That's the it. I don't need to do anything more to this. I think it's so gorgeous. Such a subtle but beautiful edit. Amelia, this is a gorgeous photo. If you ever post it on Pinterest, I will be repinning you. What is it called? Just pinning? I, I'll pin you. Next up, we have this photo here from Melina. Melina, you look stunning. I love your outfit here. Your hair is blowing through the breeze, looking so gorgeous, and your face is beautiful. Something I really like about this photo is it's a very kind of realistic photo in the sense that this is the type of background that anybody can have. This is like the floor and a wall and like a little bit of a staircase, but like, it's just a wall. It's no crazy mural. It's no insane landscape. It's just like a very typical thing. So this is the type of photo anybody could recreate. You seriously can have an amazing photo with such a simple, normal background. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I like this one. I think sugar and spice looks beautiful on you, girl. First thing, I'm gonna bring down that exposure. Oh, 
You look so pretty. I think I'm gonna bring down the shadows a little bit as well as the black color slider just because I want the black of your pants as well as your hair to really pop. So with that, I'm gonna bring up the contrast a little bit. I think now I'm gonna go into the yellows and I see the background wall has a little tint of a yellow. So I'm just gonna bring down the saturation a little as well as bring up the luminance. So that way the background is a little bit more crispy and a little bit more neutral to draw more attention to her. I'm gonna pull the red slider more over to the center to give her lipstick the true color that it's meant to be. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is bring up the sharpening. And here we are before. And here we are after, oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful, subtle edit that looks so stunning. Again, this is a great example of having the kind of more bright background, a very evenly lit photo. We are winding down this video, so this gorgeous photo from Marina, and she's at Disneyland, which I'm elated to edit because I miss Disneyland so much. So this is gonna give me a bit of like that magical happiness that I've been missing in my life. Ooh, caramel looks cute. I choose Corduroy Dream. I think it looks so cute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to bring up that contrast, bring down the black slider, bring down the shadow slider, bring up those whites, hold down the highlights. All of these edits are going to make Marina pop just a little bit more. Next, I'm going to bring up the temperature just the slightest bit. It is an overcast day, so any edits you make to this photo are going to be pretty influential upon the image. And now I'm gonna go down into the color mixer and I'm going to make that castle pop. Now that is one of my favorite things about editing Disneyland photos with the castle is bringing out the background colors of the castle because it just looks so gorgeous being a part of your background, being a part of your photo. So first thing, I'm gonna make those turrets look extra, extra glorious. I'm gonna stick with the more teal turrets. Now this pink of the castle is reading more of like an orange red versus a true pink. So I'm gonna hop into the orange color slider. Up, oh, yep, oh my gosh, look how much of this photo. And let's pull that up just a bit. And I'm gonna lean it a little bit more towards pink. Ooh, I think that looks really lovely so far. So let's pull the saturation of the yellow up because as you guys can see, the details on the castle are yellow have a yellow tint to them. Mickey's shoes are yellow, her ears are yellow. So we're gonna pull that up. And I am gonna keep it leaning more towards the orange side of the yellow color spectrum. And let's pull the luminance down just a bit to really deepen that color. Let's straighten it and see how the photo's going. Marina, this is such a cute photo. Oh my goodness, okay. Before, after, oh my gosh, I love it. Final thing is let's bring the highlights down a little bit more and the whites up. I think that's our photo. Okay, let's see a before and after. Before, after. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think it looks so gorgeous. Marina, this is such a cute photo and I love how the colors look. I love your ears, the, the mouse ears. <laughs> I can't see your actual ears, but I'm sure they are also very cute. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. I had so much fun editing through your photos and just putting my own style and spin on things. And it was just so cool again to see all of your beautiful faces and just really neat that you guys would send your photos to me to edit and it feels like an honor and it was such a pleasure. So thank you guys so much to anybody who sent them in. Again, as I mentioned, these ones edited were only for the video. I will be going through all of the photos and editing them for you guys. So if you sent in photos, check your email and I got you. So thank you guys so much. So now let's move into our quote of the day segment. And today's quote says, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. And that's a quote by Oprah. I love that quote. I think it's absolutely so pertinent to what we just did. I just had such a fun time sharing a little bit of one of my like hobbies slash passions with you guys. And I just need to stand right now. My legs are so stir crazy from just sitting here for the last three hours. Luna came to say goodbye to you. Come on, let's say bye to everyone. Ugh. But anyways, I had such a great time sharing this video with you guys and editing your photos and it was just so neat. So thank you guys again. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.